Introducing the new king of low-profile budget gaming builds. And it's not even a gaming card. The RTX A2000 is for professional workstations. It kind of looks like the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey, but with a fan on it. Consuming only 70 watts of power, it can get all its power just from the PCI slot and doesn't need external power. It has four mini DVI ports, a great way to get that many outputs on a single card. You can think of it as a mini 3050 or 3060. Gotta love these full height brackets on low profile cards, right? So I'm going to show you how to take it off. There are two screws on the back and two on the face. They are the fancy star type called a Torx. The Torx screws allow for higher torque transmission, hence the name, so that they can be tightened more securely. I'd like to take this moment to shamelessly plug my channel and ask you to subscribe. If you like to watch me torque a Torx or fasten a Phillips, Look no further than OptiGPU. And we're done. Wow, this thing really does fill up every bit of that low profile space. This budget gaming rig has had a 1050 Ti in it for pretty much forever. We're going to replace that with the A2000 and see how much better of a user benchmark score we can get. I remember the last time I tested this 1050 Ti, it scored. 28.8, which is a below average score. The A2000 looks bigger, but it's actually the exact same length, so it will fit. They're both exactly 167 millimeters long. So now here we go, the moment of truth. All we have to do is plug the A2000 directly down into our PCI Express 16 slot and then just snap down the retention bracket. Oh, oh, uh-oh. The retention bracket just popped off. Let's see, I think the reason it popped off was the fact that the A2000 takes up all of that low profile space. Um, I'm just gonna not worry about it. I don't think that it's totally necessary. Overall, this thing is snugly seated in its PCI slot and there's a good amount of space around it. It looks like the cooling fan can do its job. So let's fire this thing up. This RTX A2000 gave me a graphic score of 69.9. That's a good 3D score. It can handle a majority of recent games at high resolutions and ultra detail levels. My particular card is performing below potential, uh, probably because no matter what I do, uh, I get a warning saying that I am using too much CPU. So, whatever. But that's still really, really good. For a low-profile graphics card, I've yet to test something that scores this well.